As a college student, iPad became my go-to note-taking device. I use my iPad for note-taking, scripting, watching Twilight on Netflix at like 2 a.m. in the morning, just bawling out crying. <laughs> Jacob, no! But all in seriousness, I watch online courses and bunch of stuff that is actually useful in my long-term future. So in this video, I'm going through my favorite and interesting note-taking app that you can use it on your iPad. So let's stop talking and let's get right into it. Let's start off with everyone's favorite note-taking app which is Notion. Notion is a block-based note-taking app that can literally do anything. I use it for scripting, making to-dos, manage my video publishing date with Kanban board and more. I literally do anything. I track my workouts, I do budgeting, I do my journaling, like my yearly goal and stuff. I literally do anything on Notion and Notion helps me a lot managing my thoughts. This app is literally saving my life and I love this app so much. And I have a couple of videos that I went in depth about my Notion setup, but but there's so many awesome notions video on YouTube that goes super in depth and super high quality. So I highly recommend those ones. So I'm not going in depth in this video, but I totally love notion and I do highly suggest notion and it is totally free for personal usage. Second app is Craft. Craft is a note taking app that you can use it online and completely offline, which Notion cannot do. And honestly, I think Craft is the best note taking app on iPad right now. This is another block based note taking app that can keep your mind organized and managed. You can reorganize, bulk edits, and group your blocks into one pages. But not that only that you can organize everything in one page. The cool thing about Craft is that each blocks in your note can be a separated page. So you can create pages and pages and pages, which is like creating this, like, you know, note taking inception, which is kind of cool. And another thing I love about this app is that the minimal design and the clean organization. When you copy a URL to this app and create a preview in your page, you can open the URL preview without opening external applications such as Chrome or Safari. Also, you can change the shape of your preview card into three different sizes and organize your pages. And it looks pretty clean, my guy. However, the most useful function of this app is that you can do a split screen within your app using different pages. This is literally a game Game changer for me since Notion cannot do this and this can save you a lot of time and it saved me so so much. This app is completely free up to 1000 cars and I do highly recommend this app. Before we get into the next app, if you guys can hit the like button and notification bell so YouTube Senpai will bless me with the algorithm, I'll be highly appreciated. MathNotes 2 is a whiteboard app and is basically just a whiteboard. You can literally do whatever you want. You can write everything, you can draw everything and it will be a great tool especially if you're trying to come up with some new idea or if you do in some team meeting. This app is really useful for brainstorming and organizing your thoughts or trying to come up with thoughts and just go crazy with it. This app is really useful for brainstorming, coming up with ideas and just trying to get out this like creative rut, you know? You can change the color of your pencil, drag and drop image in the board, and you can also change the background into black color if you like blackboard more than whiteboard. And if you need to export your whiteboard, Map Notes will allow you to export this into image or PDF so you can share it with your theme and explore your creativity. This app is the second version and the first version had a lot of bugs but it's only two dollars but the second one have less bug but it's up to six bucks so i mean it really depends on you but i highly recommend the second version muse is an image board app that you can easily gather your thoughts and research onto a simple whiteboard you can write notes on an image categorize images or handwriting notes and more this note taking app is really cool pretty creative and it does have a lot of functions however the price tag of 99 dollars per year is just too expensive for me. But I include this app on the list because it is kind of popping on the App Store, a lot of people talking about it, and it is kind of useful, it's just super freaking expensive. If you don't want to spend $99 per year for a note-taking app like Muse, but to have same sort of functionality and more robust note-taking system, I highly recommend GoodNotes 5. This app is a complete handwriting app that can have a lot of functionality and it is very useful for almost everyone. Of course, you can use this app as a great note-taking app, but you can also use it as like your thought management or trying to come up with like new idea, like using as a, you know, image board app as well. Not only you can handwrite stuff on GoodNotes 5 using Apple Pencil, you can also insert image, create shapes, or you can insert a text box so you can literally just type stuff in in your GoodNotes 5. I love this app because one, for the price point, this app is only about $7 and compared to Muse, that is really cheap and you can write infinite amount of pages and that saves me a lot of money because I don't have to buy any notebooks for my college lectures. I know a lot of people are comparing with the notability, but I will say go for GoodNotes 5 because it's like a dollar cheaper and you can use that dollar 
to buy you some coffee or some other goods. If you guys are looking for the most simple and cleanest looking note-taking app, I highly recommend Notebook. Yeah, the app's name is literally Notebook. This app is a simple note-taking app that looks good and gets the job done. You can make to-dos, insert time and dates, add hashtag and insert photos. You can also use your Apple Pencil to write stuff down and this is like nothing special. The function of Apple Pencil in this notebook is very simple, but it's really good to have and for the price, you can't really complain of it. However, I think the most useful function of this note-taking app is that you can insert a voice memo within your page. This function is superb because when you have like a quick thoughts or when you're in like, you know, college classroom and when your professor says something very important, you can literally just use your voice memo and record their voices or when you use it for like a sketchy reason. Please do not use it for a sketchy reason. And overall, I do think this app is very simple, very useful, and it's not complex at all. And I really dig the whole artistic looks of this app as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like to watch my daily iPad workflow video, please hit the video right here. And if you guys like to watch my real day in the life iPad video, please hit the video right here. And also I made an iPad desk setup. So if you guys are curious, please check it out right here. And my channel is going to be right here. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. My name is Peace Gates and you guys already know. Peace out guys.